Over the last few years, Racine County has thought deeply about how to help youth in our juvenile justice system and envision a future with zero kids in detention. We've seen in our own state the worst of what can happen and have been focused on chartering a different path forward. As we convened a Youth Justice Advisory Committee with stakeholders from across the county, one thing became clear. Our current facility, the Racine County Juvenile Detention Center, is an antiquated model of a different time. Confined spaces and prison bars are no way to help a child become a productive member of our community. The vast majority of these children have experienced and are coping with traumatic events such as life-threatening accidents, injuries, illness, violence, sexual or emotional abuse, and exploitation. Fortunately, an opportunity to improve youth outcomes without placing additional burden on taxpayers is before us. With the impending closure of Lincoln Hills, the state of Wisconsin awarded $40 million for Racine County to construct a modern, trauma-informed secure residential care center for children and youth. Our facility will be known as the Racine County Youth Development and Care Center. The center will transform our youth justice program, deliberately target racial disparities, and lead to better outcomes for our youth. We can't wait to get started, but it's crucial we get this right. We must create the best center we possibly can, one that transcends typical juvenile justice to accomplish our ultimate goal of zero detentions. The estimated budget to acquire the necessary land and construct the new center is $42.1 million. The Wisconsin Department of Corrections awarded $40 million, or 95% of the total projected cost. This award is a reimbursement, meaning Racine County will pay for the costs incurred, then request reimbursement through the Wisconsin Department of Corrections. The remaining $2.1 million, or 5% of the total projected cost, is the responsibility of Racine County. The county will likely issue 10-year general obligation notes to fund its required portion. General obligation notes are very similar to bonds in structure, but allow the added flexibility of reallocating any unused funding to other public project needs. Racine County's timeline begins with land acquisition in late summer or early fall of 2020 through completion of construction anticipated between January and April of 2022. The current juvenile detention facility impacts tax levy by $1.34 million net of revenues. The Racine County Youth Development and Care Center is estimated to have annual operating costs of $3.8 million, which will be partially offset by the following revenues. $2.19 million of bed rental fees from other governmental entities and $750,000 of increased youth aids funding from the state. Therefore, the net impact on tax levy from the new center is estimated at $860,000 a reduction of nearly $500,000 annually, and will result in a payback period of less than five years for the county. Local governments always face some level of risk. As Corporation Counsel and Risk Manager, one of my chief responsibilities is to ensure Racine County is not overexposed to risk and that risk response planning can achieve strategic results. Under law, counties must make certain services available, and we owe a duty of care to youth within the juvenile justice system. There is growing evidence that childhood trauma exposure is a key risk factor for later involvement with the juvenile and adult criminal justice systems. We could simply contract with other counties for detention services, but doing so may simply further the psychological distress of youth and contribute to worse legal outcomes which negatively impact the individual and community at large. We believe the impact of a facility design that includes trauma-informed care, a strong educational component, and family focus preserves our ability to influence, control, and improve outcomes. I've concluded that the Racine County Youth Development and Care Center represents an unprecedented opportunity to improve our juvenile justice system and dramatically reduce the number of young lives damaged through harsh and ineffective responses to youth crime. 
It will benefit everyone, traumatized youth, their families, adults responsible for public safety, and the entire community, and outweighs the legal risk. In fact, the greater risk is letting this opportunity pass by and maintaining the status quo with the existing antiquated facility. I have been a part of the Youth Justice Advisory Committee since the beginning and was involved in setting the vision, design, and programming of the Racine County Youth Development and Care Center. The Racine Family YMCA is also a key partner in the overall youth justice programming with the Credible Messengers program. The Credible Messengers program brings real life experiences and credibility to help youth make positive choices and turn their lives around. We believe this is a critical component to the overall youth justice continuum. Me and my team of Credible Messengers toured New Beginnings, a state-of-the-art youth residential center in Washington, D.C., which serves as a model for our facility. We spent the night at the facility to understand the different programs and activities provided to the youth. With a first-hand understanding of the facility design and operations, I'm proud of the county's commitment to building a modern, trauma-informed facility right here in Racine County. My vision for all youth assisted by Racine County Human Services is to have individualized wraparound support that best meets their unique needs. In particular, our services must address the disproportionate challenges faced by youth of color in Racine County, such as lower graduation rates, higher unemployment, and higher rates of incarceration. We have laid a solid foundation to reduce inequities. Now, our new facility will match our programming. The center will be designed with trauma-informed principles this means abandoning conventional correctional practices that lead to re-traumatization. It means drawing upon the expertise of each area within human services to create a robust support system centrally located to meet each child's individual needs. The county's master facility plan creates a campus that fosters collaboration across departments. Having our Racine County Youth Development and Care Center as part of our human services campus will improve access to mental health, education and training, and other critical support. I have over 16 years of experience working in adult corrections. Based on my experience, I believe the Racine County Youth Development and Care Center presents a better model for youth and will provide invaluable opportunities to help our youth successfully return to the community. While we currently provide individual and group therapy sessions, we recognize the current detention center is not designed with the basic principles of trauma-informed facility. This includes a lack of recreational space vital to youth development. Unlike our current center, the Youth Development and Care Center will foster greater overall fitness, including physical, emotional, and mental well-being by featuring a two-floor gym, an outdoor recreation area, and gardening space. The center will also allow for additional classroom space, creating a school-like setting for youth to attain credits and continue their education, even participating in job training. I know from my experience that our youth are at a disadvantage in attaining work readiness skills. One of my goals as superintendent is to create career opportunities for our youth through vocational training. With the new facility, youth will have that space and ability to learn skilled trades. This greatly decreases recidivism and improves the future of our youth. As Racine County's juvenile court judge for the past three years, I've seen hundreds of youth enter the juvenile justice system. Although Racine County's ACE program does an excellent job to reduce recidivism and improve educational outcomes, its current location limits recreational, classroom, and visitation space, as well as critical programming to help youth successfully return to the community. These opportunities must be expanded upon if our community wants to keep more youth in school and out of the court system. Our current detention center is not a sustainable solution, and I fully support the construction of the Racine County Youth Development and Care Center. In addition to new outdoor and classroom space, the center will expand upon what's already widely known as a best practice, alternatives to corrections through education, also known as the ACE program. As a Racine County ACE coordinator, I can attest to the life skills and tools learned by our youth to successfully return to the community. During ACE, youth regularly attend class with other students, even earning credits before returning to their home school. Youth also spend time at home with family, a critical component 
to rebuilding and maintaining their support system. With the new center, youth will have a more positive learning environment with added classroom and visitation space. This will help us expand upon this Racine County best practice and impact future generations of youth. We greatly appreciate our close partnership with the Racine County Board and State of Wisconsin. Working together, we have made tremendous progress toward a center that will truly support children who need our help. This much is certain. We cannot continue the status quo. We must do better for our kids. And if we can make our children and families stronger, we will make Racine County stronger. We're excited to continue moving forward and make the Racine County Youth Development and Care Center a reality. Thank you for your continued partnership and support to this vision of zero detentions.